Hello everyone, I am Raghav and today we are going to learn how to implement extent reports in our Selenium Java framework. So we will see what is extent report and how do we implement and add extent reports in our Selenium Java framework. So you can follow this session on Windows as well as on Mac operating system and as always we are going to go very basic step by step and all the notes and references will be available in the description section below this video. So let's get started and let us see what is extent report. So extent report in very simple words is an HTML reporting library. So it is a reporting library that helps us create report in HTML format and if I go to the browser let me just go to my browser here and if I go to Google and let me just search for extent reports and here you will get this very first option which is the official website for extent reports and if I go here you can see this is the official website and here we have a community edition for this reporting library and then there is also a pro edition. So this is a reporting library and it is an open source reporting API for Java and .NET and it creates interactive HTML report for your test session and as I told you of course there is a pro version or a commercial version also available. So now let us see how do we implement extent reports in our Selenium Java framework. So here I will go to my framework, I will open Eclipse and this is the framework that we have developed in the earlier sessions. So here, let me go back to the browser and on the extent reporting website, here you can go to community edition. So if you click here, you can see, you can get the community edition and we have version 2 which was used earlier and now it is obsolete so you can still use this version 2 but then there will be no updates here and then the latest one is version 3 so we will see about version 3 so here you can see it is available for Java and .NET platforms and of course we are interested in Java now here you can get the Java jars from here in case you have a simple Java project but in our case because we have a Maven project we can also get the Maven dependency and add to our pom.xml so if I look at the very first step it is saying add extent report libraries in project and you can add the jars or maven dependencies both ways will work so if you get the jars by downloading from it from here you can then go to your project do a right click and go to build path and go to configure build path and here you will find this option under libraries you will find add external jars and here you can browse and add the jars for extent reports but in our case because we have a maven project we will add the maven dependencies this one and this you can also find from the maven site if you go to maven repository and this is the maven site if you go here and here if you search for extent reports and just search for this you will get this extent report for extent reports for selenium and if you click here it is giving us an information that this artifact is moved to here so if i go click and go here you can see all the versions and the latest version is 3.5 so you can click here and then you can just copy it from here and you can see the same thing is being shown here so 3.1.5 is the latest version so I will just copy it from here and go to my project and go to pom.xml and here I will add this here at the end I will paste it and you can just save your project I am pressing ctrl s on my keyboard and you can see this will get added so now if you go to your maven dependencies you should find extent reports here so let me just verify and here you can see extent reports 3.1.5 is now available okay so we have added our extent report libraries to our java project so that is what we have done step number one step number two is we have to create references for extent report classes and functions and for that i will tell you a very easy way now if you go to the same uh, website of extent report here you will find a link for documentation and you can go to the version that you are using and then go to the platform so we are using version 3 java i will click here and here 
if you see you will get here at the left tree you will get this examples so just click here examples and here you will get all the examples so you can see basic usage example and then you can see for test ng test ng examples are here and then all the other examples test ng i reporter i test listener sending email using java mail api and so on so for this session i will explain you the concepts using a basic example and in the next session i will explain you using with test ng so let us see this one basic usage example in this session so now here let us go to our project again and i will go inside my source test java package and i will go inside my test package and i will create a new class now in case you are following the earlier sessions you will have this ready but even if you are not following and you have come directly to this session you can still just use any of your java project and create a new class so i will just create a new class and i will say this is extent reports basic demo and say I want a main so I will just select main and say finish so I will get a main as well here main method and here I will go now here and here you can see these are the statements that you will use to create your extent report references so the the first one is extent html reporter html reporter equals new extent html reporter so extent html reporter is the class and we have to create a object or a reference for this class so i will do this i will say extent html reporter and you will see you will get this error here if you hover over this it will say you do you want it to convert to uh, this extent let me just see extent html reporter so let me write it first extent html reporter and this and complete statement equals new extent html reporter okay and now you can see it is giving us an auto suggestion if i press control spacebar it is giving us this so you, we have to take this from com dot event stack extent reports and it is asking us for a file as well so you can give any file name here they have given uh, the file name extent.html so whatever file name you give here your report will be stored there and you can give some complete path as well so if you just only give the name it will be stored in your default project location so I will give the name as extent reports dot html so this is going to be an html file and a semicolon at the end and yes so this is the statement that starts our html reporter and now you can use the other statement so here this is for creating and attaching your reporter so i will just copy it from here and to save some time i am just copying it and pasting it in my project here my code here so you can see this is extend reports extend new extend report so this is creating an object for extend reports class and then using extend you can now attach reporter and whatever name you have given here will come here okay and if you hover over it again you will impl import it from com dot event stack extend reports okay so until now we have created all these references and now is actually you can start your test and you can keep on logging your information and all the other things so if you see here if i copy this and go back to my project i'm just going to copy this okay so it will create a test so extend test is again another class from the extend reports library import it and you will say you can give any in uh, name here any variable name i'm saying this is test one and extend dot create test you can say your name of the test here so let me just remove this and show you so when you say create test so here you can give your test name so i'm going to do a google search so the same test that we have used earlier go to google.com so go here and enter something in the text box and click on google search so for that i will say this is google 
search test one and if you want to give some description you can also give the description here this is a test to validate Google search functionality okay so you can give any description here and now now using test one variable or test one object we can log all the statements whether it's a log statements it's an information statement it's a pass or a failure so now I will start my test and uh, I can just copy this from my earlier code so I need to start a browser so this is I will copy it from the an earlier code and here I will just use it so here I'm just setting the chrome driver path chrome driver exe path and then initializing chrome driver and I can also give the web driver object here I will say web driver driver equals null and here because this is used in a static method I have to make this as also as static and I will say I will make it private okay and I will just import it from org open QA selenium and yes okay so now I have to just create my test and see here I am just creating a simple test without using test ng although we have already learned test ng in our earlier session but for this uh, particular session I am just using a simple linear test to demo you the extent reports functionality and in the next session I will show you using extent reports with test ng so here I will just say driver dot get the first step is to get the URL which is https uh, https google.com so go to https google.com and then driver dot find element by dot name now see I am just go doing this a little faster because we have already learned these concepts so I know the name for the name attribute for search box is Q so if I inspect this and uh, let me make it available at the bottom and yes so you can see here the name here is Q right so you can see this name is Q so I will just use this name equals Q so on this particular object or element I have to send keys and I can just say anything let us say automation and then I have to hit enter or click on the search button so I will just say find element by dot name and the name for the search button I already know is btnk and I will say I can say click and I can also say send keys and if I want to hit the enter key I will say keys dot return okay this also we have learned earlier and then I will just close the browser and then I will quit the browser okay now this is our simple test that we have already seen earlier as well but now we are going to add our extent report uh, functions here or loggers here so let me go back to our extent report and you can see here you can use now whatever variable you have created like test I have created test one so you can say test one dot log test one dot info test one dot fail test one dot pass test one dot add screenshot so let us see this one test dot log and status info so you can say here test dot log so I have uh, said this is test one so test one dot log and I will say status dot info so you can see if you say status dot you have info error fatal uh, pass skip warning so if you want to skip you can use skip if you want to show it as a warning if you want to show it as pass or fail but we just want to show it as an information so I will say info and in the description I will say starting test case okay and I will now go to my test case and after this step driver dot get I will log test one dot uh, log so you can see this for pass you can use test1.failed and test1.pass so this 
is passed because once this is done this is passed so I will say test1 dot pass and in the message I will say navigate it to google.com and then again after entering the text I will log test1 dot pass and see whatever I am logging here will come in the report and in a moment I will show you how the HTML report will look like I will say entered text in search box and then after hitting the enter key I will log test1 dot pass I will say uh, test keyboard enter key and then again after this I will say test one dot pass close the browser and then at the end I will give a information statement test one dot info I will say test completed okay and now after this uh, you have to do a very important step and that is you have to flush the report so you have to say extend dot flush and this is the statement that will write everything to the report or to the logs otherwise if you do not use this you will not see any error in your program but then your report will not be created so this is very important you have to use this flush statement and now this is ready let us just run this so if you also look at our steps we have called our references we have used our extend report functions log info pass fail etc and now we have to run and validate so I will do a right click and I can say run as Java application and you see here as of now we don't have any extent report HTML but after we run we should get this so I will say Java application and let us wait it opens a Chrome browser goes to google.com and types and s it is done and see until now we don't have anything but if you refresh I will right click on my project and go to refresh and you see extend reports.html has come here now so if you click here you can see it here in Eclipse but I will open it in a browser so I will right click I will say open with and on this system Chrome is my default browser so if I say system editor it should open in Chrome and yes we have got this very beautiful looking HTML report and if you want to change the theme you can see a button here so if you click here this is to change the theme you can see a dark theme as well so if I click here you can see a darker theme so this is again very beautiful and here let me explain you this entire report so here you see the status so you can filter it out so as of now we just have passed so here you have you can see the status and then it is showing us the details and the dashboard as well so if you don't want to see the dashboard click here and it will now only show you the test and its steps and here you can do a search so if you have multiple test cases you can search from here so if I say A B C D you can see there is nothing matching but if I say anything like closed the browser or something which is available in this test this is now coming as a filtered result so you can search it from here then here you can see the timings so this report was generated at this time this is the version of extent report and here you can see all the tests now as of now we just have a single test otherwise you will see all the test here in sequence and if you click on any test you will get all the steps and here you can see this is the start time in green this is the end time and then this is the total time taken by your test so the total time is 7 seconds and 807 milliseconds this is the description that we gave to our test this is a test to validate google search functionality and here you can see every step so we first added a information statement so you can see this is a information here okay which is starting the test and everything which is passed will be shown in green and anything that fails will be shown in red so in this case everything is passed I will also show you a failed example in a moment so you can see everything is logged here and then here you have a filter 
okay so this is again very important suppose you just want to see the information statement click here and now you can see only the information statement if you just want to see only the pass you can click here and it will show you only the pass if you just want to see only the fails or fatal so you can see that as of now we don't have any fail or fatal errors and then here you can see errors only warnings only and so on so this is very intuitive and then you can again go to this dashboard from here so if you click here it will show you the dashboard and again it is very beautiful you can see this chart where it shows you the total pass fail information everything as of now we just have a pass this is for test and then this is for steps so in steps we have four steps that passed and then we have two information steps and there was no failure and here you can also see all the information four steps passed zero steps fails and two others and then this is the test count step count start time end time and the time taken so this is how your extent report will look like and let me also show you a failure so just in case we want to make a failure step as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, copy this entire thing from here and before flush before we have flush I am going to paste it again now of course here I am just doing it in a very crude way just to show you a demo for extent reports obviously we will use test ng and different functions and methods uh, later on so I am giving this as test2 and this I will say this is test2 uh, google search test2 and here this I do not need it and again I'm starting a chrome driver and now wherever I have used test1 I will use test2 because this is a second test and here I will make one step as failed okay so here I will actually fail this instead of passing okay and let me try to run this again I will say run as Java application so this should run two tests so this is the first one opening a chrome browser and then it's done and now let us see the second test so it again opens a chrome browser and the same test but here it should show us as a failure in our report so if you go back and if you refresh you will get a report here but because in my case it is already opened I will just go to my browser and refresh it and here now you can see so you can see two test cases here let me again go to the dark theme you can see two test cases here this one is showing as pass this one is fail and you can see the failure here so you can see it here and then again if you go to the dashboard you can see the pass fail here as well right now you might have one question here that uh, how exactly you will get the failures because until now we are ourselves making a step as failed so this also we will learn mostly what will happen is we will use some if else statement and we will say if something happens that make it as show it as pass if that thing does not happen show it as fail and also you can always enclose your functions into try catch block and in the catch block always you can uh, show or log a failure statement so whenever there is something failed or some error it will show as a failure okay so this is how you will use extend report so this was a very basic example and we will use uh, test ng example in the uh, next session so let us do a very quick recap today we learned what is extend reports and how to add extend reports in selenium java project i hope this was very useful for you if you like the session please hit the like button and share with others and also subscribe to this channel hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon so that you can receive all new videos from automation step by step i will meet you in the next episode Thank you for watching.